as we head on into the afternoon. So as you get going tomorrow morning, we start to see that snow moving in. And then as warmer air aloft overrides the colder air at the surface, we will start to see that transition, some sleet, some pockets of freezing rain, and then eventually over to plain rain as we head on into the afternoon. The good news is this will start to come to an end as we head towards tomorrow night and into early Monday morning. I'll have more on this coming up in my full forecast. Comes your way in just a couple of minutes from now. Sarah. Thanks, Don. Tonight was the third annual Pink in the Rink Night at the Mass Mutual Center to celebrate breast cancer survivors. Western Mass News reporter James Villalobos was there and joins us live in downtown Springfield with what the night meant for survivors. James? Sarah, I spoke to one of those survivors, and while tonight may have been just a hockey game for those survivors, it was a celebration of how far they've come in their fight. Michelle Shattuck is a two-time cancer survivor, having been first diagnosed when she was 37. It's been a roller coaster of emotions. You really go through the whole gamut of worrying for your life to immense gratitude. She tells Western Mass News that at the time her kids were two and six, and she knew she was in for a fight. I immediately thought about the kids, and that ignited a fire. You know, I was going to fight for my kids and do whatever I had to do to be here for them. She's just one of many survivors honored at the Mass Mutual Center Saturday night as part of the Thunderbirds Pink in the Rink Night. Those survivors were honored in a pregame ceremony in front of the sold out crowd. Denise Jordan is the 2018 2019 chair of the Rays of Hope. It's extremely important because it's great to have community partners. And so the Thunderbirds have been an awesome community partner. Um, they raised over $30,000, um, which goes toward the cure research and for um, support and community services for survivors. So, you know, hats off to the Thunderbirds for really thinking of Rays of Hope. Jordan says that all of these survivors have a sisterhood that consistently stand by each other. We, you know, have a common bond that we have between each other. And so we are also happy that we support an organization that when we were going through our, our medical conditions, they supported us. Shattuck says this December she will be celebrating her 10th anniversary of her second diagnosis and appreciates every day she gets to be around with her kids. And it just means celebrating all of the little things, even when the kids are fighting. You know, I'm grateful that I'm there for that. The survivors say they are now looking forward to the big walk in October, which attracts thousands. In Springfield, James Villalobos, Western Mass News.